sign, a bay graduated. Go Islanders. I don't even know what, do you have a sign? I knew that I wanted to look fabulous, but I also knew that I was going to be face to face with people in harsh light. When it comes to packing for trips, you want to pack light and you want to plan ahead because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So these are the two options. You can either pack super light on a clear regular makeup bag, which this wasn't really doing it for me, so I'm gonna show you a quick $1 alternative. Say hello to my clear box. I got this clear box on HEB for about a dollar, okay, 90 some cents, but a dollar. This is really nice. It keeps your foundations and powders nice and sturdy standing. I really don't like stuff laying everywhere and going crazy. So for a dollar, that kind of resolves everything. I decided to pack a regular basic palette with my look in mind. I want to learn how to recreate this look. Easy, basic, glam that is perfectly great, resistant against 100 degree hot weather, and drugstore friendly. Make sure to keep on watching. So I brought you in so that you could see this beautiful, beautiful glow. This is a peach blossom and it is launching this week in 100caracosmetics.com. So go ahead and keep on watching so you can see the application in a swatch. All right, so we already prepped and primed the eyes. So when I pack to travel, I try to pack just essentials. I already have in mind what kind of look I want to recreate. So for this graduation, I knew that I wasn't having a lot of time in my hands and we were going to be traveling, so that means harsh light. I really wanted neutral colors but lashes and lips to really pop. So for me, a product that does both things that allows me to pack light are bronzers. So for eyeshadows today, we're gonna to be using the Shop Miss A bronzers in Creighton and Canyon. And we're also gonna do a dark brown color just in case we wanna have that available. So those are pretty much the eyeshadows that I packed to go. And of course, a pop of color and some blush options. So we're gonna go ahead and take it to the first bronzer. Take a tiny bit of M2 just to darken the outer V, but I don't want a dramatic look, so I'm just kind of working it really, really light on the edge of the eye. So we're pretty much done with the look. We are going to allow the highlight and the lashes to really carry this look. So I'm gonna be launching a new shade on my cosmetic line, 100 Karat Cosmetics, called Peach Blossom. It is a beautiful peach, minimal glitter shade to where it is effortless. You have that highlight. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this in the inner corner and the brow bone. bronzers all over again. We're going to start off with Creighton and work our way to the darker shades. So we're going to move on to Canyon and just kind of start darkening up a little bit more. The outer edge, we're going to go in with M2 and just kind of darken it just a tad bit.
don't have that much going on in the eyes. I really loaded up with mascara to intensify like a lashy, natural look. Because we are going to be in harsh daylight, I didn't want anything too intense on the eyes. It was just nice skin, lashy look. I usually pack a whole bunch of nudes to choose from and then I swatch them in my arm and then I decide where in the nude spectrum I fall. Nude spectrum for this harsh lighting situation, I felt that with this peach kind of glow, the AOA Studio Liquid Lipstick matched the lip pencil in the color Hero. I wanted a darker base for this orangey tone. I didn't want to do just a brown neutral because I did want a pop of color, but I didn't want neon orange lips. So this combo really, really does the job. Guys, just to wrap up the look, we're gonna go in with my Skin Denavia spray. If I am outside, this spray has proven to me that it can really hold up with the heat. If you have oily skin, a good option is the Urban Decay All Nighter. But for sensitive skin and dry skin like myself, that is too intense, so I prefer this one. My favorite is the Bridal Edition, but this one's good too. Alright guys, so that wraps up the look. I really tested out this makeup with hot weather. It was about 100, it was hot. For the foundation, I would say if you're going to be outside and it's going to be an intense day and you want a good drugstore foundation, definitely go for the Wet n Wild. This stuff kept me matte along with the Fit Me powder. It is the best drugstore foundation that I've actually tried out in intense heat and that I'm not disappointed. So if you are looking for an affordable liquid lipstick that really lasts, we went to Shutters, I had greasy chicken strips, and besides eating like, you know, like this, this held up pretty well. I would say line your lips with a liner and then top it with this, try to eat carefully, but it really does hold up. The only fading that I actually noticed was in the inner rim, but that's pretty much normal. But these are really, really good for a dollar. Shout out to Shop Miss A. This look, this was a really quick, easy glam look. What really pulls the look together are the Coco lashes. Since I was gonna be outside in harsh light, I didn't want intense lashes because most people are looking at me direct sun and face to face, so it, it might look a little intense. So I felt that the Coco lashes in the style Coco were light, but they were still going to show up on camera and they weren't going to be scary when people saw me face to face. When you are packing, pack light your colors beforehand. Take a couple options, I wanna say like two or three options, so that when you get to the actual hotel and you start doing your makeup, I know it's already nerve wracking as it is, but you already have your options set and you already kind of have an idea of where you're going with your look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Also, Peach Blossom is going to be launching this week. So by the time this video is up, you are going to have a special discount code, which will be flashing on the screen or in the description box. Be sure to turn on your notifications so that you are updated every time that I do upload. Be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.